Tip number 242 from the book 501 Contractor Tips, providing your customers with a warranty. This is something I never did. So let's get that on the table right off the bat. I never did it because I didn't have the financial means, even though I provided my customers with a verbal uh, agreement that if there was ever a problem, ever a problem, let me know and I would try and do something about it. And I stuck to that. And some of, some of these problems cost me a lot of money. I still stuck to it. That will be a choice you will have to make as a contractor. This is something that makes a lot of contractors look bad uh, when they don't go back and fix something that was their fault. Uh, but whatever, the contractors who are going to go back and fix it uh, usually stay in business longer than those who don't. But when I say that, don't get confused. There's a lot of dishonest uh, contractors out there who are not going to go back and fix anything because they know how to play the game. Now, with a warranty, I would suggest using this if you had the financial means or some type of an insurance policy to back it up. You know, I'd imagine you could get an insurance policy, uh, some type of a liability insurance policy that would cover something like this. But you would need to talk to your insurance uh, representative to get more information. Um, this is not something I'm suggesting that you do uh, without thinking about it. You're going to need to think about can you actually afford to provide your customers with a certain type of warranty or guarantee about your work or the products you're going to be using. Now, if you do decide to use this and you're, 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 you're doing it uh, for whatever reason, you want to get more sales, you want to make more money, you need more customers, this is the, most of the reasons or most of the time this is why uh, businesses do this. They want to provide you. They're not looking to provide your customers or provide us with a way to make them look good. This is a way for them to make more money, plain and simple. And, uh, you know, that, that's kind of what you would be doing here if you provided some with a guarantee. But you're going to need to track all the information. You need to track everything and see if it's actually working. And then you can't confuse the relevant information with something that's irrelevant. If you go out and you buy a brand new truck, change, your, change the way you dress, and provide someone with a, with a written warranty, um, and you do this all on May 1st, you're not going to be able to figure out which one of these is impacting your sales as easily. You know, So if you've been in business for two or three years, and you're, you're looking for a small change, you're going to need to make sure that you can track this change um, rationally. You know, there are other things that are going to impact your sales. And if you're tracking, hey, this guarantee, I just got a 20% increase in my business, but it has nothing to do with a guarantee. It has everything to do with the economy at that point. You're not tracking it rationally. So, like I said, I did not do this for uh, financial reasons. I couldn't afford to, and, um, and I'm just throwing this out there as another idea. It's something that makes sense to you, something you want to try, go for it. If not, go on to the next tip and see if that one will make sense.